Yes, people, here we are, the first ever video of this channel. Um, before we get into the video, it's good to say uh, a warm welcome, but also the reason of this channel. I had my YouTube, I had my Twitch for a very long time, and I finally made the decision to dust it off, uh, connect it, and start doing what I'm passionate about. And on one side, it's techno, producing my techno, releasing my techno, playing techno, playing promos. So you will see a lot of things going on here like movement sessions. You will see a few videos already being uploaded where I play predominantly the promos I receive and um, games, a lot of games. My Twitch streams will be posted here. A lot of Rainbow Six and a lot of third person RPG like games. And we'll discuss them. We're gonna discuss them. And one of the topics we're going to discuss is, is it worth the hype and is it worth your money? The reason for that is because a lot of people do not pre-order. They wait until the hype dies down. And I know the music in the background already tells you what game we're going to discuss. Yes, it's record sales, but it's worth to reflect after one week into this game. So, um, if you like the channel, please subscribe, put in your notifications, and leave a comment down below uh, in the video. Keep it clean, it's just opinions, peeps. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Spider -Man! Now, Spider-Man is out for about roughly a week, and uh, there's a lot of debate going on about the downgrading and all those kind of discussions. But the fact of the matter is, we're talking about one of the better, best PS games, together with games like Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War. And also Spider-Man reaffirms that the exclusives on the PlayStation 4 are really making this system uh, a must-buy for everyone. Now, going into the different components, first of all, let's... Um, well, first of all, a disclaimer here. I'm not the biggest Spidey fan out there. I'm more a DC guy, so it's it's predominantly Batman. So the the Batman Arkham City, Asylum, and Arkham Knight made by uh, Rocksteady are games I'm still playing. Um, and the reason why I got my eye in one, because if you would come up to me and say Spider-Man, I would say, no. <laughs> um, but the gameplay itself, and there's no denying here, resembles um, a lot like Batman, the Rocksteady ones. And uh, there's no denying. It's it, the setup, the, the gameplay, the, uh, the way the missions are there, are, and especially the combat is, is, I would say, almost Batman 101. Um, but does that matter? I would say no. So let's, let's jump in graphics here. Graphics are second to none. Um, it's the, the way it's it's being presented to us. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Full stop. Um, it's it's a delight to swing around New York. It's a delight to look at all those buildings. To just sometimes you catch yourself just swinging around, doing nothing, and just look around, and especially play around with the photo mode. So if if game is if graphics is is a, is a seller for you, you've got a ten out of ten. Now, story. The story is great, and I must say, in the previous Spider-Man's installments, I wasn't really that fond of the entire story. But this is really doing. It, it's been presented really well. The the characters are fantastic. The voice acting is fantastic, and. Uh, uh, the overall way the whole story unfolds, and I will not not have any spoilers here for those who haven't bought it yet. It's fantastic. It's really like a movie, and also the side missions are really compelling, and it's it all fits in very nicely. Um, and then you have the biggest part of uh, this game, which makes it really fun, of course, because you're really developing your character with one goal, and that's combat. And this is this is what I really like, and this is also something when I saw the first gameplay, I really saw Batman here, and and the way you hop from one enemy to one enemy to another enemy, and the way you can use your gadgets and you can make those combos are really fantastic. It's it flows good. It it's 
sometimes is a bit more clunky than, than Batman. There are occasions that you want to web sling with your uh, triangle button to from one enemy to one enemy to another. Um, you sometimes miss him and, and you, 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 you take somebody else, but that's occasionally. You will get around that and you will get the swing of it. <laughs> no pun intended here. <laughs> um, so, overall the game is really fantastic. It's, it's not as dark as Batman, of course. It's really good. So is it worth the hype? It damn sure is. And is it worth your money if you haven't got this, this game? You should run to the store right now and get this game. It's, it's that good. It's really that good. So, for me, it has a 9 out of 10 for this game. Of course, there are um, also a few points of criticism, criticism here. Eh? We always have something to criticize. <laughs> um, first of all, it's that um, the, the overall uh, developing of the city and, and the way you explore it and all the side missions and the collectibles, it, it takes you a bit too much by the hand. In, in, and there is no denying, there is a resemblance here with, with Batman. And he just say, here's the city, go fetch. And what you got here is when you start the game, you have a city that is undiscovered. It's more on your map, it's scrambled, so you can't see what everything is. And you need to open these vintage points. But these vintage points are located on that map. So it's not really that you need to go through a lot of trouble to find it. And as soon as you open it up, your biggest bulk of the backpack, the collectibles and everything, it's, it's there, you, you, can, you can see it, so it's just clicking on a waypoint, then just go there, take that picture, get that backpack, um, and, and just do that. So it's there's nothing, huge amount of trouble to go through. And yes, there are a lot of secrets, a lot of secret landmarks and um, to find and discover, but eventually, if you if you're just a casual gamer and you uh, are not really into the discovering type, or if you if you miss miss that trophy, you're going on YouTube and for God's sake, I'm just gonna see how the people did it. If if you're just a casual gamer, there's not really a lot to explore in that sense. It, it's just there. The map unfolds, it shows you where the backpacks are, it shows you where the landmarks are, um, and to me that was a bit kiddy to me. Why show that? Here's the city. Go discover. You got a main story. Side quests will pop up. That's normal. But to me, the whole backpack and the landmark things. Why show them to you? Just search for them. So overall, it, it's not the biggest issue out there because graphics second to none. The sound, voice acting, the story is really good. It's really fun to watch. Um, and the overall gameplay, fighting mechanics, and, and web slimming, peeps, web slimming to New York. It doesn't get any more fun than that. You will catch yourself spending hours in Manhattan, web slinging, taking pictures, entering photo modes, and it's same thing I had with Horizon Zero Dawn, just walking around for hours and just. <laughs> and just taking pictures of myself in photo mode. So guys, it's worth your money, it's worth the hype. Go out, get fat, go and fetch by. And uh, if you don't have a PS4, buy it. Until next week, um, next week I will be discussing hopefully Tomb Raider, the latest installment, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So I'm uh, currently working on that one. And stay tuned, see you soon. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and put your notification peeps. Bye-bye.